Hi, this is Larry Jordan. The following is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the craft of editing called Timing is Everything. In this excerpt, I illustrate the power of reaction shots in a drama. Emotions live in reactions. The person talking may be emotional, but the telling emotion is almost always found in the person reacting to the person talking. You want to use reaction shots to show the audience the emotional impact of the dialogue on the characters. Let me illustrate. This is a dramatic scene that we looked at when we were looking at editing in webinar 134. And there I was looking at how we could cut the whole scene together. And I discovered that I made a mistake, as one person pointed out, and I want to show you how that gets corrected. Let's first watch the scene, and then we'll see, one, how I corrected a mistake, and two, how reaction shots and the timing of reaction shots can change the whole meaning of the piece. First, here's the scene. What you doing down here, hon? I'm a terrible person, Candy. Well, you really don't care about anyone. I mean, how do you expect them to care about you? I care about people. I care about you. Look, hon, it ain't too late to change. Start acting nice. Maybe quit assaulting people. You should really give it a try sometime. I'm sorry, Candy. I've been such a meanie to you. Just... I'm just so sorry. Now, in the scene that we did the last time, this was the mistake that I made. Is I wanted to see this tight emotion here, but then I also wanted to see the hug. And what I did is I tried Andy. to justify to myself that this was not too bad of a jump cut. Well, it isn't too bad, but look at how much better. Watch the scene without adding this shot. I'm sorry, Candy. I've been such a meanie to you. I'm just so sorry. Okay, that definitely keeps the focus on this woman, but watch what happens when I drop in a reaction shot that's just a simple quirk in her face. Watch again. I'm sorry, Candy. I've been such a meanie to you. Just... Now, the difference is, is that what I'm seeing is her reaction to the line that went before. I've been such a meanie to you. Andy, I've been such a meanie to you. All right, she acknowledges that she's been a meanie, but she's not saying any more because there's still more to come, and we cut back. God, I'm just so sorry. For the hug. So the question now becomes, Who's the focus of this scene? Is it the person that's instigating the reconciliation or the person that realizes that she needs to change? If the blonde is the focus of the scene, then we want to have the camera linger on her a bit more. Also notice how our cutting occurs. In all cases, I'm cutting the audio and the video at the same time, with only one exception, which is where I'm doing that hand gesture, which was just too good to give up. But the rest of the time, I'm always, person talks, I'm cutting to them. Person talks, I'm cutting to them. I'm not doing what's called a split edit, an L edit, where the audio and the video are editing at different times. But let's change that. Let's keep the focus on the blonde. What you doing down here, hon? Now, I'm going to select our trim tool, which is, exists in all software, and hold on her. I'm a terrible person, Candy. Well, you really don't care about anyone. I mean, how do you expect them to care about you? Now I'm going to kill the stand and just stay with her. I care about people. I care about you. Now, by having her reaction, notice that she didn't give a lot of reaction here as this big dramatic thing, I care about people, is being said. I care about people. I care. The blonde is providing a focus for the redhead to look, but the, she's been told that the focus of the scene is not her. Focus of the scene is this woman right here. So let's change it so we're not focusing on the instigator. 
with the person whose attitude is changing. So let's go back again and we'll pull that back and pull this back and reset. And again, watch the scene. What you doing down here, hon? I'm a terrible person, Candy. Now let's just hold it on that for just a second. Just before she starts to talk. Andy. Well, you really don't care about anyone. I mean, how do you expect them to care about you? Now let's trim that. You really don't care any about anybody. You know what I mean? And trim it earlier so we start to see her build to the reaction. And candy. Well, you really don't care about anyone. I mean, how do you expect them to care about you? I care about people. Notice how she was reacting before the line started. She started to sit up. She started to take umbrage. How do you expect them to care about you? I care about people. I care about you. Look, hon, it ain't too late to change. Start acting nice. Okay, and we'll trim over to her. It ain't too late to change. Start acting nice. Maybe quit assaulting people. Even a little bit sooner, we get that head nod. Now, here, I would normally cut in the pause because I want to maintain the pacing. But I'd much rather go for the emotion. I want to watch this woman on the right reacting. Hun, it ain't too late to change. Start acting nice. Maybe quit assaulting people. You should really give it a try sometime. I'm sorry, Candy. I've been such a meanie to you. God, I'm just so sorry. And notice also how much pause we've got in here before she starts to break. In other words, we're stretching this scene. We're adding to the drama by increasing it. Meanie to you. God, I'm just so sorry. Okay, now let's watch the same scene. I'm going to give you a different take. Let's pull this so it's right tight to the reconciliation without that pause beforehand. I've been such a meanie to you. God, I'm just so sorry. Okay, that reaction occurs as soon as she sees the quirk. Now let's give ourselves a little bit more time and have her think about it. Notice how by stretching the distance between the reaction shot and her line, we can boost the emotion. Sorry, Candy. I've been such a meanie to you. God, I'm just so sorry. Exactly the same shot, in exactly the same order. All we changed was the timing. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at Timing is Everything in Editing. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 137. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. more than 800 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.